never forget that. It's his, it's his mouth, dude. It's like, it's, it's not perfect. Every once in a while, his mouth moves a little bit wrong. A little bit wrong, dude. Just a little bit. Man, these guys are really making my job easy, you know? It's like, hey, what kind of videos do the best on YouTube? It's like, you know, conspiracy stuff where people are trying to fool the public and they're like, all right, well, uh, here, hold my beer. And you're like, I mean, you're gonna have a hard time, man. You know, someone shot the president and you guys had the most ridiculous story in the history of the world about exactly what happened. What do you mean ridiculous? I mean, you said that a lone gunman who's 20 years old who looked like the most suspicious character in history, got on top of the most obvious place to take a shot from in front of the entire security detail. No one shot him. No one addressed him. The entire crowd screaming at him. Somehow he got off like nine shots before anyone, uh, you know, responded with fire. There's a video of a guy on, on, a, on a water tower emerging, you know, potentially taking shots also. People are saying they heard shots from multiple areas. Even if there wasn't a, a shot in response, why is Trump on the stage when you know there's an active shooter situation with someone, you know, aimed at the stage? Bring up the Patsy, who's the director of the Secret Service, and start asking some hard questions like, why wasn't someone posted on the roof? And she's like, because it was too slanted. It was too slanted. And then we see a video yesterday come out, body cam footage of like 10 people just standing up there, no problem. We can see that it's slanted like this. And they're like, never mind, it's not slanted. It was actually the person who was on that post got too hot. They got too hot. And so they just took off. And also the counter snipers were in the same building that the guy took the shot from. And then when we go look, there's a window literally 10 feet from the position that the guy took the shot from. But don't worry about any of that. There's definitely not a conspiracy, nothing going on. Everything's kosher. You know, like, Coming off a situation like that, how could we get any weirder? And they're like, all right, that is kind of weird. <laughs> that is kind of weird. Uh, but, you know, don't worry. We're going to get a lot weirder. How? Well, we're going to resign uh, Joe Biden for him. Uh, you know, we're going to have him. We're going to trot him out in the middle of his campaign. He's going to say, I'll never, ever step down from my campaign. We're going to win. We're going to win. The whole world's all, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no you're not he's all well I have the delegates and you're like what's a delegate he's like I don't remember because I definitely have dementia so he's gonna have some kind of medical emergency coincidentally like the day after Trump got shot you know so it's kind of like mm, trying to take out two people at once or what you know like I don't understand what's happening uh but since then right medical emergency in Las Vegas no one's seen him no one's heard from him and we found out that he's dropping out through Twitter you know, really big deal that he's dropping out through Twitter. But we found out, listen, guys, calm down because Joe Biden is going to address the nation tonight. And we we're like, he is. They're like, oh, yeah, he is. And we are going to take a look at it right here. You know, this is his address to the nation. And I don't know about you guys, but I am excited to see what Joe Biden says. Uh, more so, though, I'm excited to see if this is really Joe Biden or some kind of AI bot, you know, because to me, this does not look normal. There is something wrong here. Okay. Now I don't know if these people who put this stuff out have never seen what a deep fake looks like, you know, like they're all, you know, this is like, this is my honest opinion. I think this is a deep fake. Okay. His face, his face is moving wrong. His mouth is moving wrong. It's like, it's not right. He looks you know, I mean, like, he looks a little bit too tan, but obviously you can do that with makeup or whatnot. But, like, this does not look real, all right? So we are going to look at AI Joe Biden, all right? And then we are going to look at uh, this little number, right, about the Trump uh, assassin and some of his some of his supposed, uh, you know, uh, Google searches right before he went out, or not right before, you know, I, I guess it would be the day that he uh, bought his ticket to the rally, supposedly. So the day he bought his ticket to the rally, right, he searched something that, I don't know, would seem uh, pretty notable, right? You can see it a little bit here in the headline, you know, some pretty, just, just more suspicious stuff. Then, oh, I'm sorry, I, I jumped ahead. Then we're gonna look at this little number. What's this article about? Donald Trump supporters are flipping to Kamala Harris in new poll. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah, right. And then we're going to look at why that's not true. Okay. Ridiculous. I, I, if they seriously tried to act like Kamala wins this, this election, I am going to just go like this. 
I'm going to pull my ears off my head and then I'm going to poke my eyeballs out so I don't need to hear or see anything ever again because I don't think that my brain can take it. I don't think I can take it emotionally. That's just what's going to happen. Now, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. If you haven't been paying attention, we have gained 200,000 subscribers this month, which is absolutely insane. I get like I, I don't get bored saying it, dude. I, I got to be honest. It's very exciting. I gained 39,000 subscribers in 2023 and I gained 200,000 subscribers in the last two weeks. It makes no sense. I don't know what to do with that except to just say I am incredibly, incredibly grateful. Thank you guys and welcome. I love all of you guys. I do mixed martial arts, combat sports, you know, maybe a little bit of a culture because I'm definitely going to be talking about Mr. Beast's little creep friend. Mr. Beast's little creep friend that is a pedophile, you know, he's a pedophile. He's somebody who likes children more than he should, right? You know, so first it came out that he is no longer a boy. He's a girl. Wait, who? What? Chris is not a boy. He's a girl. Well, you're saying he, right? Well, I mean, I don't want to dead name him. He definitely used to be a boy, but now he's a girl named Ava. And you're like, mm, no, no, he's not. Nope. No, he's not a girl. Uh, he can wear a dress. He is welcome to wear a dress. He is welcome to grow his hair out long and do whatever, you know? I'm not going to have my children watching a channel where he does that, uh, but, you know, do what you want to do. Uh, but then we found out that not only is he, uh, you know, trans or she, whatever, not only is Ava Chris, huh, he's trans, also he likes kids. He's a kitty diddler. He is a kitty diddler that grooms 13 year olds with all kinds of freaky talk that I would not say to my wife, dude. Okay. He's a freak. So I'm definitely going to talk about that soon. Um, anywho, so let's just jump right into this, uh, AI Joe Biden though, because that is our story of the day. All right. So here we go. Let's just check out Joe Biden. And you guys tell me if this looks legit to you. Jefferson wrote the immortal words that guide this nation. George Washington showed us presidents are not kings. Abraham Lincoln, who implored us to reject malice. Franklin Roosevelt, who inspired us to reject fear. I revere this office, but I love my country more. It's been the honor of my life to serve as your president. But in the defense of democracy, which is at stake, I think is more important than any title. I draw strength and I find joy in working for the American people. But this sacred task of perfecting our union, it's not about me, it's about you. And, I mean, like, I'm, I'm seriously asking, am I crazy? I mean, I like, seriously, I, it's fine. If I'm crazy, it's fine. Like, you will far, be far from the first people to tell me that I'm crazy. Like, really far. <laughs> like, like, a hundred miles from the first people to tell me that I'm crazy. But this does not look real to me. It looks exceptional. It looks like this is the absolute best deep fake technology that we have. Okay, that's what this looks like. Now, I also want to say that I have someone in my life that I'm very close to who works specifically professionally with people who have Parkinson's. And they told me today that they have been thinking for a long time that Joe Biden appears to have Parkinson's to them which is a degenerative disease. It's an absolute nightmare. And it is very hard to like pull it together even for a short period of time. I mean, seriously, am I crazy? Am I? Families, your futures. It's about we, the people. We can never forget that. It's his, it's his mouth, dude. It's like, it's, it's not perfect. Every once in a while, his mouth moves a little bit wrong. A little bit wrong, dude. Just a little bit. And I never have. I've made it clear that I believe America is at an inflection point. Just look at his mouth, okay? Just look at his mouth only in this next part. Like, just tune everything else out and, like, just every other thing. Just look at his mouth moving and tell me that I'm crazy. One of those rare moments in history when the decisions we make now will determine our fate of our nation. It's, it's wrong. I'm right. I'm, dude, I'm, tell, like, am I crazy? Just his mouth. Am I wrong? Do, do, do. Just look at that. Look at my face moving as I talk. Okay. This is how a mouth moves when you're talking. And now look at his when his is talking. And the world for decades to come. America's going to have to choose between moving forward 
or backward. I don't know, man. I might be totally, totally batshit, but it looks wrong to me. Now, I might be totally crazy. It's possible. Uh, but I will tell you that I am absolutely not crazy when we talk about this next part, which is that this poll is absolute, utter nonsense, okay? Because here's the deal, okay? No one has flipped from Trump to the left. They have not done that. And I'll tell you right now, no one who is a Trump supporter was like, oh, wait a minute, they're running Kamala? That changes everything, you know? The first time I heard her speak, I was like, that's the person I want running the country. Is that true? It is true. There's something about the way that she commands a room where you're like, let's put her in charge of whatever someone needs to be in charge of. The whole country, the whole world, huh? Kamala Harris, she's the woman for the job. So you're telling me that the first female president is gonna be Kamala Harris. Actually, I'm telling you the first female president will also be the first female president of color. And yes, it'll be Kamala Harris. She's the female Barack Obama. No, she is not. No, she's not. I'll tell you what, why don't you go search every single speech that Obama has ever given and find one where he has a gaffe like the many I am going to show you in the following video, okay? Kamala Harris is not going to win, okay? She's not gonna win, I don't care. I don't care what, what like bubble you live in with all these people who are like, I swear to God, I swear to God, if the, if the founder of a, you know, a supremacy, I don't even want to say that on the, the channel and, you know, put myself in a different type of category with the algorithm, but, you know, like a, a supremacy group that thinks that people who look like me are the top dogs and that we should just hold all the other races down, you know, like someone who ran an actual organization like that, if they ran that person on the top of the ticket, I am telling you these people would vote for that person over Donald Trump because they are convinced that Donald Trump is going to, actually, I don't even know. I actually have no idea what their idea of uh, what he is, is. I just know they're crazy. And Kamala Harris is incompetent. This is not even like, this is not rocket science. And no one is flipping for Kamala. That is ludicrous. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. But let's just read this just to get a, let's just get a kick out of this a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you some of her favorite, you know, some of our favorite gaffes of Kamala. And then we're gonna look at what this uh, shooter Google searched uh, when he bought his ticket to the uh, his ticket to ride at uh, the Trump rally. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris is winning over some of former President Trump's supporters, according to a CNN poll. Oh, really? Hey, where'd you find those people? OK, I don't believe you. This is nonsense. This is propaganda lies. Harris is viewed as the front runner to win the Democratic presidential nomination after Biden withdrew from the race over the weekend. Uh, well, I feel like someone else withdrew for him after they poisoned his food or, you know, some other thing happened, you know, blah, 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 uh, concerned about his ability to win in November polls showing him behind Trump and key battleground stakes blah, 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 blah. with Biden's endorsement. Democrats quickly rallied around Harris, who has appeared to secure enough delegates to officially become the nominee at the Democratic National Convention next month. Harris, like Biden, has trailed Trump in the polls for months, but her supporters argue she is more capable of running a robust campaign that could win over swing voters while increasingly uh while increasing the already mounting democratic enthusiasm for the race oh yeah the mounting enthusiasm from the democrats hey remind me how many people have moved from uh i don't know tennessee florida and any of the other like 100 red states to like california or new york in the last four years how many you know just like let's just use that as a poll like how many people are fleeing red states for blue states oh none did you i'm sorry did you, like did you say none because i think you said none which would have been the accurate number none okay um Several new polls this week suggest a tight race between Harris and Trump and that and that Harris may already be pulling stronger number. OK, stronger numbers in Biden. That's hard. You know, they're like she is pulling stronger numbers in Biden. You're all is that because she does have a pulse and a heartbeat? They're all that's it. You know, when we polled why they would prefer Kamala over Biden, they said she's alive. And it was like, wow, OK, well, why would you pick Kamala over Donald Trump? And they're like. Well, 98% of them said because she's not Donald Trump. And you're like, all right. Are you guys the same people that voted for a person who had a stroke in the middle of their uh, campaign and actually, you know, tragically couldn't connect us? You know what's funny? Pretty sure he's on our side now, you know, but nonetheless, right? 
Uh, so the poll shows, shows Harris trailing the former president by three points, 49 to 46. Uh, still, the poll found that 95% of Biden supporters continue to stick with Harris, of course, uh, while she wins over 5% of Trump's former supporters. Yeah, right. Give me names. I don't believe it. And I don't mean like names like, let's get them. I mean names like, let's have a conversation with those people. First of all, let's prove they're true, like they're real. And then second, let's ask them like a question like, what exactly did you see in Kamala that was so inspiring that you're like, you know what? I was really a serious Trump supporter, but now I like Kamala. Yeah, right. Okay. Unless here's the only, here's the only way that's true. Here's the only way that's true is if they were like, I got to be honest, man. I do believe enough in the United States that I do think that we do need to have an actual president. And they're like, and Joe Biden literally is not capable of holding a conversation for five straight minutes with anyone, much less running the country. So I decided let's do, you know, I'd rather have Trump than no president. Okay. But I doubt it. You know, I doubt it. That's the only way that I could get behind this being even moderately true. Uh, let's just watch a couple of her, uh, you know, most famous gaffes. So this is, should be good for a laugh. And then we'll wrap up with the uh, shooter Googling uh, JFK shooter statistics. In terms for people who don't understand what's going on and how can this directly affect the people of the United States? So Ukraine is a country in Europe. It exists next to another country called Russia. We campaign with the plan. Uppercase T, uppercase P. The plan. Do you plan to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> but um, I have before and I'm sure I will again. I said I'm going to go to the border. And I, when are you going to the border, the Vice President? The administration has asked. She is prettier than Trump. I will give her that, dude. You know, prettier than Trump. But that is where her, uh, you know, better than Trump, like, stops. I'm not finished. <laughs> We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. You're the borders are. You're the borders are. It's like this whole thing is so ridiculous, dude. You're like, hey, guys. Uh, so what qualifies you to be the president? And they're like, well, I would like to see a record of getting things done. And you're like, well, let's look at what Trump did while he was in office. They're like, well, ugh, he pulled us out of the Paris Climate Accord. He's scum. And you're like, do you know anything about the Paris Climate Accord? I know that it says climate in it. Okay. Uh, what else? They're like, well, he, uh, you know, he, he closed the border to all the immigrants and just shook up the world in a terrible way. Okay. Right. Uh, anything else? Like, did, did you watch the final 90% of his presidency or did you just see the first 10%? Like, did you see the rest? Did you see anything that he did? Like, did you see anything he got done? Mm, I saw that he humiliated us on the global stage. Oh, when? When? He humiliated us with NATO. It was embarrassing. You're like, do you know what he said to NATO and why? Like, do you actually understand what's happening? Well, yeah, he was talking about how they need to spend lots of money. And it's like, that's totally unreasonable. Oh, is it? Okay, NATO, everyone agreed that they will spend a certain percentage of their yearly spend on military. And guess what? The United States is living up to that expectation. The other countries in NATO are not. They're not spending barely anything on military because they're like, don't worry, United States has got our back. <laughs> We could spend this on healthcare. All right. We could do this global, you know, or this, you know, national health care and we can, you know, make the jails amazing. And we could do all this. And then the United States can have people go, look at how amazing their jails are. Look at how amazing their health care is. And you're like, whoa, that's nice. If you don't have to spend anything on defense and you just rely on us, you know, you don't think it's fair. Like you think that's fair. What do you mean? Well, they agreed if they wanted to be in NATO, that they would spend a certain percentage of their annual output on military, which they're not doing because they're just relying on us to do it for them. Is that fair? I don't know. I just don't like Trump. Okay, there we go. So let's just make sure that we're on the same page here because uh, if you think that he was doing something wrong, then you don't understand what you're talking about. I'm being clear with you right now. Yes, okay. And, and, and so if you're interested, I'll continue to be clear. There are a whole lot of people, especially people who live in rural communities, who don't, there's no Kinko's, there's no Office Max near them. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. We are doing it. 
But should we have done it sooner? We are doing it. What do you see as the biggest national security challenge confronting the U.S.? What is the thing that worries you and keeps you up at night? Frankly, one of them is our democracy. You don't feel <laughs> much used on... <laughs> I wake up every night and think January 6th. Oh, how are we going to avoid another one? The president almost overthrew the Republic with a bunch of people who had no guns, who just followed directions where the police officers were like, come on in here, guy. Just come on in here, guy. Alex Jones was like, don't go in there. It's a trap. Don't go in there. It's a trap. And they're like, ah, you kook, you kook, Alex. Don't worry about us, man. We know what we're doing. It's like, no, nope, you probably should have listened to Alex Jones. Uh, but nonetheless, the idea that, you know, Trump was trying to overthrow the government when he controlled the military and he's all, I'm not going to use any weapons. I'm not going to use the military. I'm just going to have a bunch of drunk people, you know, just kind of walk in there and take some pictures. And that is how you overthrow democracy. Uh, but you know, listen, like, uh, assassinating people and then, uh, waiting till the very last minute and then, you know, ousting your guy and then in injecting your, your person who doesn't actually have to get democratically elected. That's not a threat to democracy, of course, because that's just them doing politics. I can't, I, I can't dude. I'm sorry. I'm tapping out on these people. No, I'm not, but it's absolutely ridiculous. Now, last thing the FBI testified on, you know, do you believe anything these guys say? Is any, raise your hand if you believe anything these guys say, okay? Because let me just break down what this story is, okay? The lone gunman, okay? The lone gunman who took a shot at Trump right when he bought his ticket to the Trump rally, he Google searched the other lone gunman that definitely was a lone gunman when he shot JFK, right? I mean, listen, passes the smell test to me, dude, because when you're thinking about shooting someone, the most reasonable thing to take a look at is like someone who successfully shot someone, you know, 50, 60, whatever years ago, 1968 or nine, right? In a, in a situation that does not resemble the situation you're walking into in any capacity whatsoever. But, you know, you just want to see that. Or maybe this just sounds like a planted story that makes you believe, again, single lone gunman, you know? Um, I just... It's just hard, dude. It's hard when you don't believe anything that they say. As in nothing. Literally nothing. I believe nothing they say. That's enough for tonight, though. Um, I'm going to do a video tomorrow. I think I'm going to do one about Trump's round of golf that he did with uh, DeChambeau, which was awesome. Dude, Trump is a good golfer, man. Like a really good golfer. Uh, anyway, I got to go to bed, though. And I do love all of you. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And let's chat tomorrow. Bye-bye.